everyone, welcome to another episode of The Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and today we're looking at the NECA Cinemachines Space Jockey, which is from the movie Alien, and it's number one in the set. I have all of them. I pre-ordered them when I found out they were making these from Big Bad Toy Store, and uh, they are impressive. Now, Cinema Machines is basically all die-cast ships from Alien, Predator, Terminator 2, and I don't know what else they had planned yet, but I will be buying them all because they're friggin' awesome and no one else has ever made them. And if they did, it was probably uh, Micro Machines or something along that lines. But before I start the review, I want to thank everybody who subscribed uh, and liked my videos, comments. Uh, it means a lot to me that somebody's getting some sort of enjoyment from my work. And I want to send a special thank you to my friend John, who made that awesome beat in the beginning of my video, and I'll be using that for a long time because I really like it. So, thumbs up to you, man. You saved the day with that. So, let's get started. We have a lot to cover. Uh, this is not a vehicle. This is actually the pilot chair. That uh, This is inside the derelict or the juggernaut, whatever you want to call it. So, the box is pretty cool. And on the back, okay, I zoomed in so you guys can get a clear look at this if you want to pause it and read it. And the cool thing is, right here it says age, impossible to measure due to fossilization. And, you know, I got to hand it to NECA. Not only do they make cool stuff, but, you know, they bring up facts like that, that uh, if you ever watch Prometheus, at the end of the film, there's that, like that uh, proto-alien or whatever they want to call it that pops out of the engineer. And everybody's like, oh, that's that's where alien came from, the creature. And I was like, no, because all those dudes were, you know, they were dead. They were basically rock and fossilized inside of the pyramids and whatever at the same time that this guy was fossilized when he crashed on... Uh, Jesus, what planet was that? LV-426, uh, I think? Oh, well, stupid me, I should have just read right there. But any... Oh, I got it right. So, anywho, you know, these guys basically nailed the coffin shut with that little remark because, you know, nobody ever wants to look at the facts, and, you know, I'm ranting. So, uh, let's go back to review. Okay, I got this guy open, and all I can say is, holy shiitake mushrooms, man. It, this thing is neat. And I believe this was only, like, 20 bucks or $21.00. And it basically is a little statue. You have a little copyright stuff right there. But uh, this thing is amazing. They captured Giger's work and the friggin' scene from Alien spot on. Like you can see the engineer here, or, you know, space jockey, whatever you want to call it. He even has the chest burster wound. It's friggin' awesome. So let's start uh, at the this section here and this is real nice they did all the detail got all these bumps little things here and it's so much detail they really captured this perfectly and that's why I love NECA they, they always do a, a very good job underneath is nice all these shapes bio-organic So much detail. These looks like uh, pipes, hoses. And then uh, this is the chair component. And then anything that's white is supposed to be fossilized. So uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be organic. This section, uh, they never touched on that in any of the films, but it is fossilized in the movie, and NECA captured it. And we'll get to the space jockey in a minute. I just want to keep looking at this chair. And this is amazing. And the cool thing is that whole... Uh, what is that word? Uh, podium or whatever. The circle that this seat was actually in. They actually took that and made it the base. Because there is a bigger circle around this. And that's where everybody stands before the Kane gets the face hugger. But th this is real nice. Like all the little details in here. So cool. Okay, now for the space jockey. There's a lot of details in here, too. We have his broken rib cage. And in Prometheus, this is a suit. Uh, there is a guy inside of this, but the suit is bio organic, so it probably fossilized anyway because it's made from living things mixed with technology that's kind of neat you see like a mouth the eye the hose that connects to the rib cage 
And he does have legs. They should be somewhere in there. But I mean, the amount of detail is great. Let's see the other side. Actually, let's look here first. Just nice sculpted work. Really cool. And having something like this is awesome. Because in the movie, you see it for a couple of minutes or seconds, and then they're gone. But if you buy something like this, you can see it anytime you want. And this side, uh, his eye's not colored, but whatever. I'm just going to post it this way anyway, because that's how it was in the film. Just like that. But all in all, th this mold is very impressive. For the main seat, I'm talking about this area here first, uh, there are so many colors going on here. Uh, first off, there is some sort of black wash over the whole thing. Um, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. But it really brings out all these uh, intricate little carved out side ends of the pipe, whatever you want to call it. And these details going inside with the wires and all that. And that is over the whole thing, basically. Uh, sometimes more than others. You can see it's on the main body as well. And it, it, it just makes everything pop, even more than it already does. But for the main color, it's like a, uh, a brownish bronze or copper mixed with a little black. And my eye can see a little green. I don't know if the camera could pick it up. But it's very slight. It's mixed well. But when the light hits it right, I could see uh, like an olive-ish green. I don't even know if that's a color, but the color of a green olive. But darkened and mixed with all these or it could just be a reflection from the yellowish body onto this color here who knows but uh, that is the main color throughout the whole chair that old metallic look uh, there is no rust coloring on here it's just that uh, bronzy black brownish color throughout the whole thing then when we get up here you can see it's a little browner uh, it's lightened. There's not a lot of black wash on there. I don't know if that's a mistake or not, but I really don't care because it's freaking awesome. And that goes all the way up to here and down this part. And then it gets black again in back of the chair. Around here and then light brown again, so I guess it's not a mistake. And then on the front, heavy with the black wash. Now for the body itself, we have a couple colors going on here. A little bit of orange, tan, uh, some sort of yellow, maybe a hint of some sort of uh, really light green mixed with something. But again, that could just be my eyes. Um, up here, it's the orange again. But it's mostly that tan, like I said. Now the black wash is put on here and it fills out all this detail on the ribs, the arms, the back of the chair and the head they colored in the eye right there and the mouth is black so that's cool on this side like I mentioned before the eye isn't colored but it is there but like I said I'm gonna probably have this on a shelf facing like this like in the film so no one's even gonna see this side so I'm not really worried about that and uh, I could probably do it myself if I really wanted to and then there's black inside of the chest burster hole so that's neat too so this was a great buy. I really recommend it. The paint is awesome. The sculpt is superb. And, uh, yeah, if you can find it, grab it. Okay, measuring this bad boy. He stands, uh, if you measure the top of the gun, just about five inches, maybe a little tiny bit over. So it's got nice height for length. Let's see here. I'd say it's probably exactly six inches long so that's pretty nice so that does it for my review of the NECA cinema machine space jockey it's number one in the set so far there's four and uh geez i, I love this thing and i can't say it enough if, if you if you're a fan pick it up because it's neat it's cool it's small if you don't have a lot of room and that that just about does it so uh thank you for joining me uh thank you for everybody who subscribed and liked my videos it means a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye.